half coming in, but I don't know if it's before the beat, after the beat, or... It's interesting coming in at the beginning of a project in 15, um, the, because you are presented with the music um, and you one arrives with preconceived ideas as to how things should sound and, and what works best. But of course you have to um, talk to the composer and find out where their inspirations come from and, and what their clear ideas are. As a composer writing a new piece like this, it's, uh, the writing process is one thing, but when you get to work with a uh, a choir of the calibre of Tenebrae in a great studio like this. It really brings the whole thing to life. <laughs> the uh, top altos have that E in the second half of that bar. Yeah. It's just dropping off on the last couple of quavers. We try and sustain it all the way through so we clearly hear the E against the D. You always end up understanding from a different vantage point what's needed for the music. And uh, this has been great fun, um, discovering Mike's music and putting it together. Um, it's very rich, very lush, and it suits, uh, suits the tenebrae uh, sound. So I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing the, the final product. Mike's music before until today and it's very emotive, very natural to sing, really lovely.